Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Whether you love them or hate them or don't know much about them, hybrid snakes are becoming a larger part of the reptile hobby. We're going to spend some time talking about it. You're watching Snake Bite. Let's start out by defining what a hybrid is. It's breeding two different subspecies or species together, but it's not to be mistaken by a color mutation, which is the same species, just different color paint jobs. Now, there's a couple things that are going on here. You can breed the same species, but different subspecies, kind of like this creamsicle corn snake. Basically what it means is you're taking a Pantherophis guttata guttata, which is a corn snake, and breeding it to a Pantherophis guttata emerii, or an emery rat snake. Now corns and emeries are really similar. They're just ranged in different areas of the country, and there's actually even some natural hybridization that does go on. Emeries are a little bit larger, have smaller clutch size, but when you breed them together, they're a little more yellow, and they actually make more of an orange albino, hence the name creamsicle corn. The next thing I want to talk about is breeding different species, but of the same genus, just like these super ball pythons. What these are are blood python crossed with ball pythons. And as you can see, they get much larger than a normal ball python. And this one's a little nippy too, so you gotta make sure you're really careful. But what's interesting about these guys is you get the length of a blood python, but the head shape and some of the other body shape of a ball python, kind of the best of both worlds. But there's a lot of crazy Frankensteining going on. And the next one that I don't even work with is when you start breeding two different species together that are of different genuses. For instance, there's something that's called a jungle corn that it's a king snake of the Lampropeltis variety and a corn snake of the Pantherophis. Now that's some crazy stuff. I want to show you guys a few examples of other people's insane Frankenstein snakes. All right, guys, it's Kyle's question of the week. This show is all about hybrid snakes. Personally, I prefer hybrid dogs, like uh, say a Shih Tzu and a Bulldog is a bull <laughs> See what I'm saying? So I want to know from you guys, what are your favorite hybrid animals? Text your video comment below, let me know. I think you guys are getting the idea of what a hybrid is, but if we want to get a little more technical, I think we're going to have to bring Dr. Chewy into the fray. Hello, this is Dr. Chewy here to enlighten you on Hibernation. 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 Hibernation occurs when a species and two subspecies mate and produce offspring. Ready? Yes. The possibilities of two members of the same species but different subspecies reproducing makes interbreeding. What? Interbreeding, which is resulting in interprogeric offspring. Intergeric offspring. Inter, T-E-R, generic phase of breeding. Intergenetic breeding project. Good enough. On average, intergeneric crossbreeding will produce different valuable offspring and higher likelihood that some of the offsprings will be fertile. Interbreeding breeding has a higher rate of sterile offspring. There's numbers of problems with this. One is a low hatch rate, high fatalities, and birth defects. I know you're asking yourself, Dr. Chewy, why is this? The reason is every species and subspecies are made up of genes. In the timing of these genes, varies in, in question and period. <laughs> the timing of these genes varies in the species and subspecies in question. In the case of intergeneric mating, the time is closer due to the specimens being members of the same family. This makes a higher likelihood of the genes lining up to make viable offspring. Essentially, every species has different chemical release times that 
turns the male on and just, he just wants to breed the female. If this timing does not line up, it could be tragic birth defects, um, hatching failures, um, various problems. You know, as well as I know, as much about this theory, inter nation. This has been Dr. Chewy. Until next time, hasta la vista, baby. Well, Dr. Chewy, thanks for that explanation. I have no doubt that everybody understood that, right? Okay, well basically what he meant is when you breed hybrids, you might have fertility issues, you might not have fertility issues, you might get certain traits from one gene and not from another gene. It's basically Frankenstein DNA and you just don't know what you're gonna produce. It's not like color mutations of the same species when you have a pretty good idea of what the outcome's gonna be. And what's even more interesting is that the male to female can actually make a difference. Say for instance, you breed a male corn snake to a female king snake, you're gonna get different offspring if you breed a male king snake to a female corn snake. I find that pretty amazing. And there's some really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing animals like this albino Rufini theri cross. I mean, look how beautiful they are. And that's a different species breeding. Again, I have no problem with hybrids, although I don't work with a whole lot of them personally. The biggest issue that I have is that sometimes an animal like this, that's a Rufini theri cross, can eventually be sold into the trade as a purebred animal. And that's where the issue comes in. And I understand why there's a lot of purists out there that don't like hybrids because you don't want to muddle the waters and get animals in the future that actually have different gene pool than you actually expect. But as long as you're just going for aesthetically beautiful animals and you're willing to take the risk, hybrids can certainly be an exciting project. You sure this isn't going to be a problem? I don't want him. Oh, don't put... worry about it. Joe's going to have a great time. That's no, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremiah. That's right, Matt. I'm sorry. It's going to be the best day of your life. What do you think, Jared? Well, you ready? Let's do it. All right. Then I guess I'll go. Have a good time. Oh, All right. I'll see you about five. All right. So okay. Thank you. Yeah. We'll take care of your little guy. Don't worry about it. Great. Sounds good. Okay. See you see later. later. All right. Bye. Let the fun begin. Jerry! Yeah, Brian, what's up? I can't find my egg book. You want me to help you look for it? No, I don't want you to help me look at it. Get, get your on the ladder. I need you to get up there, inventory every egg. Mark it down in this book, and don't, I swear to gosh, you screw this up, it's gonna be your You hear me? Jerry, Jeff, whatever your name is, get over here! I'm right here. Don't talk back to me. Look at this floor, it's freaking disgusting. I want you to clean this up, sweep it from front to back, and I'm talking quick. All right. Give me that. I need this. Use this. <sighs> what the hell is that? It's my mom. You better answer it, but get rid of her quick. And don't say a word. Hey, mom. Oh yeah, th things are things are great. Um, yeah, I, got, I gotta let you go. All right, bye. Hey, Lori, my mom's gonna be here in a few minutes. I was wondering if I could just, you know, kind of chill out. You know, it's been a long day. Uh, no, a few minutes? Do you know how much work that needs to be done there? I would appreciate it if you could work for those few minutes you're waiting. Okay. Hey, Johan, did you find those keys yet? No, I don't think they're in here. Trust me, keep looking. They're in there. You better find them. <sighs> So how'd everything go? Oh gosh, Jared was so good. He had a great time, didn't you? Yeah, it was fun. Okay. Hi. You guys are welcome thanks. back anytime. Great, thanks. Seriously. So what'd you end up doing? Let's just go. I love company. Oh, they're the best. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, do you believe in karma? And EMS 7572 said, I did believe in karma. I always helped people out and did the right thing. This way, when May 21, 2011 hit, God could take my soul up to heaven and spare me going through the rapture because of all the good karma I have acquired. Well, I'm still here, so I guess even though I have helped out tons of people, I'm going to have to face 2012.
Well, seeing as the rapture is a Christian concept and karma goes against that, maybe that's why you and the rest of us didn't get raptured, right? But then again, I'm just a snake guy. What do I know? I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my friends up in Canada. Make sure to check out reptilescanada.com. It's a really cool forum, and I hope I'll see all you guys up in Toronto in September. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.